Okay, from Minnesota nice and Minnesota mean, the gloves coming off between Congresswoman Michelle Bachman and former Governor Tim Pawlenty. So will toughening up help his campaign? Joining us now with some thoughts on all this from Iowa, Pawlenty campaign manager Nick Ayers. Nick, great to see you. Welcome. Great, great to see you. It's an incredible day in Ames, Uma. I, it looks like it from behind. you got quite the scene back there. You know, it seems that uh, Tim Pawlenty is staking a lot on today's straw poll and that one reason he's pulling no punches against fellow Minnesotan Michelle Bachman is this, in this week's debate is that he sees her as a threat. Does he think of her as the biggest threat to his campaign at the moment? No, look, at, she's another competitor. We're all competing against each other for the same votes in Iowa. Uh, the debate showed some important differences. Michelle's got a long history of saying the right things. She's just never actually accomplished any of them. Governor Pawlenty's not so much a talker as he is a walker. He's governed one of the most liberal states in the country and moved it in a conservative direction. He actually transformed a Supreme Court. He balanced eight state budgets. Those aren't things he just... Uh, talked about, he actually did it, and what he wanted to point out at the debate, and I think he did it quite effectively, is that while Michelle said all the right thing for six years, that she led on TARP, she led to oppose cap and trade, she led to stop government increased spending, the results of those is that she didn't actually achieve any of those results. If you're going to lead, you've got to be accountable for the results. And I think we, we, uh, I think Governor Pawlenty pointed that out well on Thursday night, and we're looking for a really good outcome here in Ames today. Well, it's very interesting. I mean, you didn't see the same kind of fireworks, though, between, the, uh, between Mr. Pawlenty and the other candidates besides Bachman. So one wonders if he sees her as, you know, particularly a threat to his organization, to his campaign at the moment. Well, Uma, we didn't show up. Uh, he showed up talking about his record. Michelle showed up looking for a fight. Uh, her staff was passing out opposition research to reporters even prior to the debate uh, or, or just as the uh, debate began. So he showed up to talk about his record because he actually has one, and he has one of achieving results. She has one of talking a lot. And as to the uh, confrontation, look, we're, they're all competing for the same prize. Ultimately, though, we're going to see a party united and ready to defeat this president. We have to. Now, your uh, candidate has said he may have to reassess the campaign if he doesn't come in uh, in the top three or four uh, uh, leaders in the, in the straw poll tonight, if he doesn't come out on top there. Uh, how do you feel about this? Is he still sticking to that? Will you have to reassess if he doesn't, uh, if he falls flat in the Ames, uh, Iowa poll? Sure. Well, campaigns are about constantly reassessing and reevaluating the field, your budget, your revenue, the opportunity in the marketplace. It's not that different than a business. And as the dynamics change, you have to change the dynamics of a campaign. So, of course, we'll do that after the straw poll, like every other campaign will. We're going to have a new entry into the race this afternoon with Governor Perry, and that will be a new dynamic. So I think all you'll find all campaigns reassessing the dynamics uh, after tonight's results come in. All right. Well, we'll be waiting and watching to see how the results turn out. We wish you all the best. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks, Uma.